I am Heather and I have a 10 year old daughter who was diagnosed with APDS last year in 2020. My daughter is 10. She absolutely loves school. She has started a, a business, uh, baking cheesecakes and making bookmarks. She likes to donate her proceeds to the animal shelter, um, to children's hospitals. Um, she's amazing. From the start of symptoms to diagnosis, it took nine and a half years. The original symptoms started at six months old and a lot of congestion, coughing, coughing so much um, she would spit up, hard to breathe, hard to sleep, and lots of respiratory infections and sinus infections and ear infections. I would take her to her primary care provider, a pediatrician, and several visits um, week after week sometimes and um, they weren't able to um, provide any diagnosis other than it's an ear infection and give her antibiotics. I wanted to keep searching because no other child that I knew of at her age had this many ear infections or sinus infections so I went to different pediatricians in different cities and by the time she was two, we had probably seen 20 different general physicians. And then we, we'd kind of bounce back in between doctors based on like acute symptoms that were happening, like GI symptoms. So let's go to GI. But throughout that, we still never had a diagnosis from six months old to age nine and a half, we probably saw over 80 doctors. So, okay, she's 10 now and she's had seven sets of ear tubes, three sinus surgeries, and she was just diagnosed last year. I was excited that it would, um, that the genetic test would potentially give us an answer finally. When I got the actual, yes, this is her diagnosis, I called everybody on my phone <laughs> and was like, this is a diagnosis. Once we got the diagnosis, then things changed. Uh, we knew which doctors we needed. Everything was answered for us, um, like why certain things were happening to her. It finally made sense getting the diagnosis. was like one of the best days of my life because it it was so much fighting and time and worry for over nine years that was hard with the diagnosis it's still hard but it's just totally different Any advice I would give to uh, parents who are struggling with the decision to do genetic testing, um, I would, of course, honor what their choices are, but if they were struggling like I was and my daughter was and desperate to have an answer, then getting the gen genetic test is the next step. do your own research and just keep going. Um, it's also okay to break down and not work on this for a while if that's what it takes um, and to lean on others. Just keep fighting through that because if you want the diagnosis, then get through this hard stuff and then it gets a lot easier.